All right, I bet you know where this is going. <laughs> um, salt bath annealer. Um, gonna double its uh, wattage. Give it a you know fighting chance. Um, now I misquoted um, for whatever reason in last previous videos. This is a ten pound pot. <sighs> I think it's four, maybe five, uh, but that's really it. Um, 500 watt heating element on four pounds is pretty dang good compared to 700 on, you know, 20. Uh, but keeping the salt at a um, consistent heat, it struggles a little bit if you get going a little too fast. Every now and then you gotta... Um, Stop, wait for it, uh, especially if it's cold in the room, which, you know, it's winter, and when I first started this, it was warmer out, it kept up pretty good. Winter, struggles. So, four pound pot with a thousand watts, you know, versus 500, it should really do nice. Plus, I'm thinking, uh, they won't be, you know, working their little hearts out and, uh, you know, they, they should last a lot longer. Um, now, the original pot, for whatever reason, um, <clears throat> broke my heating element. Uh, Turn it apart, found it was broken. Whether it's effective, saltated up, um, whatever. Uh, yeah. Um, something happened. So, thinking try to find a way to shield this a little bit maybe wrap some um aluminum tape around them uh, duct heating duct tape <sighs> where's that stuff it's aluminum uh, maybe that will you know let it drip around instead of on because you can see how crusty this got um, <laughs> now because of that, <laughs> I started, I bought this one to do it. Uh, let me see, I just put it back together when it's done in case I needed it. And, <laughs> yeah, that's fine for me to buy another one. Because, why let a good project go to waste? In the meantime, I had uh, modified my old pot. And, it's not perfect. Uh, but learning and what i take from this one uh you know mistakes were made as always um and what i've learned i'll modify that one and get a really nice one uh but anyway you know little pot here that's the original and uh that's the original and what i did was i raised up half inch and down a half inch and um you'll see i'll roll in some pictures uh the lowest coil will be just kind of you know <laughs> half on half off but the other one i had to go i could only go as high as this lip would allow me to so that was my limitation uh found some interesting differences like this is the old one <laughs> i don't know if you can see that's the new one uh <laughs> bottom pour interesting uh i don't know one of you guys can tell me if the uh, diameter on these is the same as the 10 pound pot maybe that's all it is instead of making two they made one don't know uh but anyway basically I drilled holes um you can see how that is and this one is just like that there's those things are pain to get in and out so i you know massaged everything so it, it's a little easier uh biggest problem with these make sure you're using sharp drill bits because you can probably see it's out of round now. 
I rounded it the best I could because <laughs> it's you know, one solid piece and unlike the 20 pounders that are um, four. I drilled this eh, kind of off on this one, but it should work. Uh, but anyway, let me throw this together. Um, me roll a little bit as I go along, but uh, yeah, see what I come up with. One thing I haven't done is uh, yeah, mod in the second cord. But like the other one, having two cords, two power, two power supplies, you can uh, you know unplug one if you don't need it. This I think I'll need both. I, but I do believe it will keep things more consistent. And right, almost got her. Um, here's a tricky bit. Um, this is actually pretty tight. Um, as you might have seen, I, I brought this up. This one's copper. This is kind of a steel clad. Maybe this has a uh, better chance of a, a long life. Interesting. Um, all the stampings are different. Uh, yeah. At least the old ones. You see it like that. And this one is printed all down through here. Different uh, supplier. Uh, hopefully it'll last longer. But you basically have to squeeze that out. Work it like this. And right there. Ah! Really doesn't want to cooperate. So you gotta... Gotta reef on it a little bit. So it gets like that. Angle it up. Give it a twist. They come out. I'm going in the reverse order. So. <laughs> like I said, I massaged all this so it'll be much much easier Let's see there's the apple everything's a little bit the slots are a little bigger um but yeah it comes pretty close to the top i just got to tear apart the new one and uh <laughs> install the uh well, Hitting element, and really, that's the only part I'm stealing from it. I'll have uh, two perfectly good chassis, but yeah, uh, seating elements are like 21 bucks a pop from uh, Lee. So these are like what, 45 bucks now. Sad thing, I found them at uh, oh Academy for like 32 bucks. But they got a bunch of states they won't ship to. And, you know, this is one of them. All right. I was very upset. They claim it's state policy. Like, God. Midway shipped me this one and the other one. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think you're full of crap. <laughs> Not really impressed with their, their little policy there. Uh, I mean... What am I gonna do with it? It's not like it's gonna go out and, you know, wreak havoc. <laughs> they had no no problems shipping me charging handles. Which is, you know, <laughs> you think that would be more dangerous, right? Oh, this one's also got the copper. Interesting. You see, the top is quite a bit different there. Since both of these are threaded, you gotta get it where it, you know, just locks up right. Just go till it uh, lets loose and stop. Or end up re-threading it yourself like I was saying on the other ones I end up filing see that won't go through if you get it lined up just right you line it up with that slot 
and straighten that enough, it'll come off. I didn't know that. No do. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Uh, I don't know how they get these in without marring them all up. Because like I said, uh, I've got to reef on that thing to get it to let go. Unlike the others, which just push straight in. Why? I do not know. Boom. Now, well, let's see what that looks like with a shiny new Yeah, that, that one coil isn't going to do a whole lot. But, yeah. Um, I foresee a difference. <laughs> Get this thing back together and uh, see how things go. Okay, one difference I did was I extended the distance here a little bit. Because as you can see, um, <laughs> you can run into interference. When I did my 20 pounder, um, the distance I put between them, while a little excessive, uh, one of the screws went right between. So it worked out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, once these are tightened down, it's not going to move. Um, and these are tight. There's enough bite there to hold it. I mean... And these will just lock it in place. All right. So what I did was I put the pod in to hold coils in place while I tighten them down to get the you know, the right distance. Because I'd already run these screws in. So this had changed a little bit. That centers it up. All right. For all intents and purposes, it's together. I mean, this totally bypassed. Um, where I drilled for the second cord, I had to put a bit of a bend in the bottom one to make a clearance. So, yeah, watch where you drill that hole. Ah, uh, probably above this one would be a better um, idea, but that's not what I did. So, yeah, let me learn. Can I convert another one <laughs> later on. Yeah. That's what I'll do. So, give me a second. Button this up. And, uh, give her a test run. Alright, well, got it all together. Um, melted everything in, into the salt. Let it cool down. Um, so I can run auto tune on it. And then compare the settings to, um, single coil. Auto tune settings. We'll see how long it takes to get to 980 degrees. Got the clock and the timer, so I got some backup. And uh, well, let's do this. All right, auto tune has started. It should take about the same amount of time as uh, just heating it up. All right. Be back and we'll check it out and see how she did. Whoops. Yeah, it'll be a few seconds off. Here we go. All
All right, auto tune changed things a lot. Uh, let's see. Went from a P of 6.91 to 20.66, and an I of 124.5 to 124.0. How much? 31.12 to 31.0. It's really the P is what did all the change in hysteresis. Um, 0 0.5 that's what I had it set at so uh, let's see um, how we can do here uh, these are pretty cold they've been sitting by the outside wall um, they're not warm at all so should cool that down pretty quickly uh, you will know, see if we can outrun this thing oh let me set up the annoying metronome back in a sec let's try this again uh, <laughs> I did a whole tray of these and uh, topped up the salt and found out that um, I started the metronome at least uh, but forget to turn on the camera I guess all right oh. Interesting thing. The temperature stayed pretty good. Um, they didn't dip below like uh, 967 maybe, which is bad. And instead of continuing to drop, by the time I got done, um, they were almost back up to 980. 977, 978, which is interesting because... Like I said, these are right at the outer wall. These are cold. Um, and <laughs> the temperature dropped a little and then started climbing. So um, here's 50. That's about when I top off the salt. Before that, I usually have to stop and let it catch up a little bit. So let's try this again. Let me start the metronome and... Hopefully restart the camera. All right. Watch temperature with 50. pretty good right now it would be down below that Calling this another win.
See now it's starting to climb. Which is not the norm. All right, and about now I would add a little bit of salt and <laughs> I'll take a short bit for it to warm right back up. I'm calling this a win. So yeah, now it looks like I don't have to stop until I need to top off the salt. That is a bonus because every 25, 30 or so I'd have to stop for a little while. Um... Not long, but still, a couple minutes sometimes. Uh, just couldn't quite keep up. And he was starting to have problems. I think it was probably because of that break. That's just my uh, theory. Uh, these should last longer, hopefully. They're working theoretically half as hard. And... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I just powdered it up with ground it in a mortar and pestle. Huh? See what this will do. How long it takes to get up back up there. How much it cools down. Oh, not bad. Before I ground it down, it, it would drop more than that. Well, right after grinding, it doesn't take up all that much less space uh, in this container for the same weight. So probably crystallized is denser and kind of makes up for the spaces in between them. See how long it takes to uh, get back up to 980. But it would drop a lot more than that before. Or it seemed to. <laughs> My memory's not so good, but it seemed to. And she's climbing. A little bit better than uh, before. It's just enough to take a little break. Yeah. Take care of business. <laughs> All right. I'm calling this a win. Uh, definitely. Um, just because I can keep on going and it doesn't get overwhelmed uh, before I have to stop. And then... It takes less time for it to recover from uh, the salt top off. All right. Well, leave it with that. Have a good one. God bless. See you.